objective today is that when you leave here, you should get some skills and some confidence in assessing someone who is sick or ill or someone who is injured. First aid is there any assessment or intervention that you do or offer someone who is injured. And I might say that a lot of people die because we are not able to handle these people, especially during road traffic accidents. say that um, this training for first aid has been very enlightening. Um, you'd know that usually um, when we have someone in distress, the first few minutes are the most important time that will either save the person or not. So this training has given us the insight that we would use in our workplace and then would also impact um, the training, would impact on the other uh, staff who were not part of it and we hope that this would be um, something that would be essential for the company. We thank um, Akesia very much. The training for First Aid was quite informative. We've learned a lot and we are going to apply it to our colleagues and family members and anybody that needs our help. Coming for this training was very, very, very informative. Really learned a lot. Um, Acacia has really done very well trying to train its clientele about first aid and CPL. I really recommend um, most of our companies to try Acacia because they are very good. Most of the things we learned today, I had no idea about that. Thankfully to Acacia, I've been able to get an idea of what CPR is and how to administer. So I'd like to say a big thank you to Acacia and I hope they continue the good work that they began. Um, there are so many things that we knew um, going up what that you do to uh, people who are um, who are in need, but um, this experience has taught us that probably they are wrong and they taught us the right ways of resuscitating um, unconscious people, and especially those who are bleeding and those are accidents. And we don't know what to, the exact thing to do before we send such people to attend to medical um, at, at the hospitals. This is an interesting training session about first aid. Actually, I learned so much on how to apply CPR, first aid, and bandaging, and other first aid assessments. One thing I learned from this session is that when it comes to first aid, it's not about try and error, but it's actually doing it right. When it comes to first aid, no effort is too small or too in no cost. It will actually prevent the situation from escalating before you get the patient or the victim to hospital. So, as much as we all know, the better. And um, it will go a long way to save the lives of our, our friends and our loved ones. You might assume that you have items in it or supplies. And in an emergency, you go in and there is no gauze. You go in, there is no plaster. So it's important we, we, we keep the first aid kits up to date. In fact, I've really enjoyed this session. I learned a lot. One thing we all need to know is that you don't have to panic. You don't have to be afraid. Just trust yourself that you can do it. You've had a hands-on practicals, and we've learned all the techniques. The only thing left now is for me to put it into use. And when I put it to good use, I know it will benefit all in Sunday. Thank you very much. I can say I'm very grateful. And then you watch for the chest to rise. Once it rises, you are done. And then you come back. And then you go. 30, 2, 30, 2, 32. Call for help. Because when you call for help, 
the person who comes to help you, you can send the person to call the ambulance or to get a defibrillator or first aid kit or anything for you to use. I enjoyed the session, learned quite a few new tricks around first aid. I realized that no first aid training is actually too much. We all can learn every single day of our lives and I'm fully confident that whatever I've learned, I'll put to full use. Thank you, Acacia. I'll be there and I know what friends are supposed to do oh yeah ooh, 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 ooh. you can count on me cause i can count on you my name is dr Amo and i'm the ceo for akisa health insurance and what we had to do this morning was to be able to meet with some of our clients and then to look at the issue of first aid uh, first aid is something that we all need to know. We all need to know because we are not very sure when you would have a family member or a, uh, or a staff of your company who has a health need for which some form of a health aid um, has to be offered. So what we did this morning was to look for somebody who was skilled in the area and then have a selection of some of our clients who were very keen to be part of us. So we came, we looked at the whole subject area of first aid. Um, they have learned how to do CPR, they have learned how to uh, attend to an injured person. They've also um, learned a few things to do when you found somebody lying on the road unconscious. And we hope that these skills that we've offered them would go a very long way to help them in what we do. Um, this will not just be the only day that we do this, but from the feedback that we had, um, we think that it's something that we should be able to extend to all our clients. So hopefully, for those who are not here with us, we would extend the same invitation to them, and then we, we hope that with time, they may also be able to come and then have the skills um, in a way to help them in what they do. If you met anybody who was unconscious, read it. Uh, is that the airways? Uh, okay, so uh, let me see by hands all those who feel is the airways. Oh, let me let me see by hands. <laughs> you see, it's not like that. So I don't think you are. If it's the airways, let's know by the airways. And and then for all those who feel is bleeding, let's see, let's see by hands. And then. For all those who, who are not sure whether it's airways or it's bleeding. <laughs> okay, five. Uh, anyone to look at five? Uh, look, listen, and feel for breath. You need to look, listen, and feel. CPR is what? Full name for CPR. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation. What machine can increase the survival of the person in sight? <laughs> so uh, at the end of the exercise, everybody who was here had a certificate as well and we know that this is to show that they are now certified first aid attendants. So they should be able to offer these first aid skills to their own corporate firms and be of value to everybody in those organizations. We're made up when we are called to help our friends in need. You can't count on me like one, two, three. I'll be there. And I know when I need For it. Us at Acacia, we are just looking at not only the issue of offering health insurance to our clients, but we want them to see us as partners in this whole sphere of healthcare. So that if there is anything that we can give back to them in a way as to empower them to be able to ensure that their staff stay healthy and strong, that is exactly what we, we want to do. There are uh, many more things that we have in store for our clients. All that we are saying is that if for those who are not yet with Acacia, if you are looking for a health insurance of choice, we think that you must not look any further 
than to work with Acacia Health Insurance. Because our mantra and the key things that actually inspire us is to be able to place value on those we value. We hope that we'll find you being on our scheme for some time to come and then you'll be very happy to enjoy the service that we provide.